What? Shiver me whiskers! <laughs> Whoa! What is it? Good question. I'll get my camera. <sighs> Captain, I saw something strange. Something amazing. Something like that? Oh, oh. <laughs> fantastic! Hi, but what is it, me hearties? Shellington? I have no idea, Captain. I'm searching the creature collection right now. It certainly is beautiful. Found it! It's a giant siphonophore. A giant say waterfall? A giant siphonophore. Quite mysterious. Not much is known about it yet, because it only lives in the very deep water of the Midnight Zone. In fact, if it goes up any higher than we are now, it'll burst. No, why? The giant siphonophore lives deep under the water. That means it's used to having a lot of water pressing down on it. When it comes up, there's less and less water pressing down on it. If it goes too high, the giant siphonophore will get bigger and bigger and burst. Flappity flippers. So, that's why we've never seen one before. It has to stay down in the midnight zone. I wonder why it glows. And what's on the end of those tentacles? Oh, it's swimming away. Captain, I've got to follow it. I'll get photos nobody's ever seen before. And I'll come with you, matey. It's hard to steer a gut and snap photos at the same time. Make sure you wear your deep sea suits. Aye, Aye Captain. Captain. Take the guppy and remember... Be careful! Oh! Excuse me. I can't stop now. Ow. <laughs> Sorry. Got to hurry. <laughs> Tweak, open the... After hatch. You got it, Quasi. <laughs> Where'd it go? Over there, into the trench. This must be the tail. Oh, I need to get closer to the head. Aye, hold on, me hearty. Captain, there's a field of geezers at the bottom of that trench. Those geezers could be dangerous. They're like volcanoes, except when they erupt, they send up explosions of water and steam. Understood. Quasi, come in, Quasi. Woohoo! This is amazing! Wow, it's fantastic! This creature is huge! Ah, oh, it's longer than a blue whale! Quasi, watch out for. Hi, Captain, we've caught up with the giant siphonophore! Siphonophore! I was close. Quasi, you're heading straight for a field of geezers! There's peas in the freezer! <laughs> <laughs> Shiver me whiskers! We're sitting on top of a geezer! Quasi, Dashy, come in! Peso, sound the octo alert! Octonauts, to the launch bay! Octonauts, Quasi and Dashy are in danger. We're going after them. Peso, Shellington, into the cup sea. Aye, 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 Captain. Tweak, open the octo hatch. You got it, yeah. We haven't been properly introduced. You're that giant siphonophore. We are the giant siphonophore. Huh? We look like one big creature, but we're actually a group of smaller creatures. We work together, see? Each of us has a special job to do. Some of us can light up. Once you follow our lights and get close enough, then. We do our jobs, see. We get our hooks in, you see. 
and then we use our powerful stingers to sting you. <laughs> like this. Uh, What's wrong? What's the problem? What's stinging? What's talking? Our oh. deep sea suits are too thick for their stingers to get through. Ha <laughs> ha! You can't sting us, you scurvy beasties! Bah! This is shocking! Our plan is perfect! Lights, hooks, stingers. Dinner! Well, you won't be having us for dinner, you giant cyphonophore! Cyphonophore! That's what I said! Another geezer! You've got to let us go and move away from here! Oh, we're not giving up that easily. But we're right on top of a pizza! Shiver me whiskers, we're going up! And if you go up too high... We'll burst! Let's try to grab that ledge and pull us all off the geezer! Aye, unhook our arms! Good idea, see? nice of you to save us after our little dinner misunderstanding. There's the gun. But I can't see Dashi or Quasi. And something else is on its way up. It's the Siphonophore. Captain! The giant siphonophore rises higher than the octopod, it will burst! Then we'll have to find a way to stop it. Barnacles to tweak! Dashi, Quasi and the giant siphonophore are trapped in a geezer. We need to keep them from going any higher than the octopod. And we need to do it now. We well, okay? Could use the octopod's bubble engine to push them back down. Good plan, Tweak! Hurry! Got it, Cap! Hold on, everyone! Hi, Captain! We don't really have a choice! Tunip, while I put the bubble engine in reverse, you need to move the octopod so it's right over the trench. Just there, that button. Oh! but I'm okay. We'll be fine once everything stops spinning. <sighs> well, that was a close one, see? Oh, my tentacles are all in a twist. Sorry we tried to eat you at first. Uh, you've done so much for us. I wish there was something we could do for you. Well, there is something you could do. Truly a fantastic <laughs> sight. Oh, wow. Look at the siphonophore. You said it right. Ha. Okay, everybody. Lights, hooks, stingers. Say seaweed. Seaweed. Say ah, oh, please. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Uh. Your 
both perfectly healthy. Captain, these sea cucumbers can go back to their rocks now. Okay, let's go. Thanks. Iwan, I could use a checkup. Of course. What's your name? <laughs> My name's Dorian. Careful now. I'm an old jelly. I'll be very careful. Oh, ho, ho. I could use a little uh, snacky snack. Oh, <gasps> oh no! Ah! Oh, this is too scary for an old jelly like me. <laughs> huh? Now, where's that jelly go? Uh... Dorian, is that you? <laughs> what happened to your tentacles? Are you all right? Do you need help? <laughs> Captain, Quasi, follow that baby jellyfish. Uh, why are we chasing after a little baby jellyfish? A couple of minutes ago, he was a grown-up jelly. But then he turned into a baby. But grown-ups don't turn into babies. But I saw it with my own eyes. I know who might be able to explain it. Shellington? Shellington here, Captain. Shellington, take a look at this. That's a baby jellyfish, Captain. Yes, but a few minutes ago, he was a grown-up jellyfish. He was frightened by a sea turtle, and then something very strange happened. The grown-up jellyfish changed into a baby jellyfish. Yes. Jumping immortal jellyfish! Don't lose sight of that baby jelly! Right, I'll need my nightcap. I mean my notecap. Ah, I mean my notebook. Huh? Oh! Uh, 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 tune it. Sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the Jelly Bay! <laughs> the Jelly Bay? Uh... about Jelly Bay, not the Oh, ah, oh, thanks, Tunip. Uh, one more time. Octonauts, to the Launch Bay! <laughs> Shellington, what's going on? Captain, this is so exciting. You found an immortal jellyfish. I, you, you still have him, don't you? <laughs> right here, safe and sound. What's so exciting about it, matey? An immortal jellyfish can do something no other creature can do. Turn back into a baby and start its life all over again. So that means an immortal jelly can live forever? Yes, unless something eats it. Don't worry, I've got it. Captain, the immortal jelly is the only creature in the world who makes this amazing change. I've never had the chance to see one for myself. Until now, we'll keep this baby immortal jelly safe until you can get here. Thank you, Captain. Octonauts, let's do this. Oh. Uh, oh. <laughs> uh, wait, uh, where's my notebook? Uh, and my magnifying glass. Oh, oh, thanks, Tunit. No, no, I'll drive. Tweak, open the octo hatch. Be careful, Shellington. Oh, don't worry. Right. Uh, oh, 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 that's better. Captain, I'm on my way. I'll be there as fast as I can. All right, Shellington, but don't worry. We'll take good care of this baby jelly. Now all we have to do is to wait for Shellington. Do, 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 do. Shellington, Shellington. Oh, where are all those bubbles coming from? <gasps> oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. oh, no! Where's Dorian? There, mateys! We've got to catch that jelly before the whale swallows it. No, it's heading for the whale's mouth. <laughs> Time for some tickling. Tickling? We'll tickle the whale to keep his mouth open long enough to grab the baby jelly. Quasi, you take the tail, I'll take the belly, and Peso... I'll take the jelly. Let's go. Activate. 
bait tickle. <laughs> yeah, got you. <laughs> hey, hey. Whoa, you guys. <laughs> now that was a good laugh. Phew. Shellington to Captain Barnacles. Come in, Shellington. How's the baby immortal jelly? Oh, he's doing just fine. Except that he almost got swallowed by a whale. <gasps> swallowed by a whale? <laughs> Don't worry. The baby jelly is safe and sound. It might be a good idea uh, to set him down somewhere on a nice, secure... <laughs> rock! <laughs> Yes, a growing jelly goes through big changes. First, the baby attaches to a rock. Next, it turns into a polyp. And then the polyp turns into the grown-up jelly. Understood. We'll find a rock then. And I'll see you soon, Captain. Shellington, out. Out, out of the way! <laughs> <laughs> I'll just get us going again. Uh... <laughs> the gup's not working. We need another way to travel. Swimming will take too long. Busta, busta. Booster packs. Good thinking, Tunip. Activate booster packs. <laughs> Whoa. This looks like a good spot for the baby jelly. Here you go. No. <laughs> I think he likes it, matey. <laughs> wow. Yeah, man. No, that's more like it. Dorian, is that you? Of course it's me, man. I've just been going through some changes, that's all. I've gone from a baby to a polyp. And it won't be long until I'm all grown up again. I hope Shellington gets here in time to see it happen. Uh, not uh, far. Oh, no. Let's boost uh, our speed. Ah! Oh! Oh! I broke the booster packs. I'm sorry, Tunip. Shalado! Tunip? The Santa Rama! The bar! Oh, good thinking, Tunip. To the Coral Reef, please. Next stop, the Coral Reef. And you better hold on tight! <laughs> what is it, Dorian? I'm feeling a little funny. You don't have a fever. Does anything hurt? Are you hungry? Or oh, sleepy? No, no. It's, it's like I need to sneeze or, or hiccup. Oh, make a change. Oh, this is it. <laughs> Shiver me whiskers. <laughs> Look at me. I'm all grown up. And Shellington missed it, Captain. Oh, no. That sailfish is coming right for me. <laughs> oh, amazing. I got to see him turn into a baby jelly right before my eyes. You got here just in time, Shellington. Super, super. Well... We hit a teeny bump here and there, but mostly it was smooth sailing. Right, Tunip? <laughs> okay, Leo. Everything up here looks good. Now let's check your tentacles. Checking. Checking. Still checking. 
Just one teeny tiny tentacle to untangle. This won't hurt a bit. There, all better. Oh, you are the best doctor in the whole ocean, Peso. <laughs> Let us now hug. Oh, your stingers seem to be working just fine. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I love to just hug, but it never seems to end well. It's all right, Leo. I'm wearing a sting-proof suit. Besides, you're a lion's mane jellyfish. It's what you do. Ah, you're right. It's how I protect myself and my friends. <whistles> if any big fishes, huh, like that one there, try to eat my friends, huh, I give them the old supper <laughs> oh. Isn't that right, guys? <laughs> That's right, Leo. And you're always giving us food. We couldn't be happier. Which one of you fish would like a checkup and a sticker? <laughs> Okay, Tunip, we are officially done fixing up the bubble engine. Let's fill her back up with water. Now remember, when the water reaches the launch bay, Jack, close the front door. <laughs> Easy as pie. But first, let's make sure the area outside the octopod is all clear. No creatures in the area. We are all clear. Ready, Tunip? Super, super! Blast off! <laughs> yeah I love this part! <laughs> now let's test your tail fins. Swim to that big rock as fast as you can. Huh? <gasps> Leo! Presto! Okay, Tunip, we're gonna close the door right about now! Ouch! <laughs> oh, me, oh, my! Yeah, come in! What is it, Trick? We got a situation down here. What kind of situation? I describe it as a tentacle type situation. Whoa, 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 Oh, and one other thing. The octopod's about to blood! Huh? Whoa! Ouch. <sighs> Whoa! Ouch! Tunip, close the door! <laughs> oh, what just happened? Sorry, big fella. We sorta of, kinda sucked you into the octopod. But we're going to get you and your tentacles back into the ocean. <gasps> but what about my friends? Those little fishes are in the big danger. I must leave here at once. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Leo, stop. You'll hurt yourself. Aso's right. Please, let us help you and your friends. <laughs> okay, but please be quick. <laughs> Tulip. Leo's stings don't seem to bother him. Will you stay here and keep Leo company? Super couple. Leo, on my honor as an octonaut, we will get you out of here. Hey, so, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, swim to the HQ. And wear your sting proof suits. <laughs> Octonauts, these tentacles belong to a lion's mane jellyfish named Leo. He's stuck in the bubble engine. And everywhere else. Of course. Tentacles this long could only belong to a lion's mane jellyfish. Lion's manes are the largest jellyfish in the world. As long as a blue whale. Their tentacles often provide protection to smaller fish. <laughs> oh, no! Dogfish! Those fish are in serious danger without Leo around. We need to act fast. Our mission is to untangle these tentacles and protect those fish. Captain, it's been my experience that tentacles untangling tentacles is never a good idea. I'd have to agree. But I could protect these fish. I don't have stinging tentacles, but I do. <laughs> Shoot ink! Okay, Professor, but please be careful. 
Of course, Captain. Peso, you're an expert at wrapping and unwrapping bandages. Any tips? It's all in the flipper. <laughs> the decals. <laughs> but what if you don't have any flippers? Then it's all in the wrist. Oh. Ouch! Sorry, Leo! Try it again, Quasi. But this time, take a deep breath and make the following sounds. Hup cha hoi ya! Hup cha hoi ya! Well, I'll be a sea monkey's uncle. This is kind of fun. Dashi, would you like to give it a try? <laughs> Tweak? Hmm. Uh, where might those fish be? <laughs> oh, whoa! <laughs> Out of our way, octopus. That's our lunch. <laughs> and it's getting cold. I'm a Dumbo octopus, to be precise, and I must insist that you seek lunch elsewhere. Or what? Or I'll be forced to use my tentacles on you. Ha! You're no lion's main jellyfish. Those don't sting. Now, out of our way. Mm, I did warn you. <laughs> and now we make our getaway. Oh, 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 I can't see. I can't see. There they are. After them. Okay, Captain. Your turn. <laughs> Octonauts, the HQ is now all clear. Let's spread out and untangle the rest of the octopod. Inkling, how's it going out there? Uh, well, Captain, we're surrounded on all sides by dogfish. I'm not sure how much ink I have left. We need Leo out here. And first. Understood. Tweak, tentacle report, please. Well, Cap, the sleeping quarters are all clear, as are all the chutes and working areas. All that's left is... The bubble engine. That's the tangliest tangle of all. Octonauts, this will take all of us working together. No, Captain. It's too complicated. It's not even in the book. I need to do this one on my own. Peso, what is going on? When can I live? We've just got one last tangle to take care of, and it's a big one. Tunip, I'll need you to step outside. You can do this, Peso. <laughs> <sighs> Leo, this will be over in a second, and you may feel an uncontrollable need to laugh. Captain, we are fully untangled. Amazing work, Peso. Octonauts, prepare for super flush. Tweak. Hold on, everybody. Three, two, one, flush! You're going home, Leo. Flank your password! Woohoo! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> I've got this one, Paso. Phew, just in time. Ha, oh, it feels really good to be untangled. And all of your tentacles seem to be just fine. <laughs> then I think I'm ready for my sticker. Stick please, Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> ah, this spyglass is no good. It's supposed to help me see things far away, but I can't make out what that big shape is. Besides, we're so far down, it's dark as night. Good.
Good thing the octoscope can see in the dark. Can you give us a better picture of what's out there, Dashie? Aye, aye, Captain. It looks like a ship of some kind. <gasps> Shiver me whiskers! Unless I miss me guess, that's the pirate shipwreck of Calico Jack himself! Calico, Calico who? Calico Jack. He was me grandfather and the finest cat pirate ever to roam the seven seas. And he had a golden spyglass. The spyglass was passed down from one member of me family to the next. But before it could pass down to me, Calico Jack's ship sank in the North Atlantic Ocean. And that golden spyglass sank with it. The North Atlantic Ocean? But that's where we are now. Quasi, do you really think that could be the pirate ship of Calico Jack out there? Aye, Captain. Then let's go and investigate. Quasi, sound the Octo Alert. Yow! Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, there's a mysterious ship out there that may have belonged to Quasi's grandfather, Calico Jack. Our mission is to explore the shipwreck and help Quasi find his grandfather's spyglass. Peso, Dashi, Quasi, let's go. Tweak, open the octo hatch. Right away, Cap. Can't you go any faster, Captain? Quasi, that shipwreck has been down there for years. It'll still be there in a few minutes. Oh. Look, everyone. There it is. Well, Quasi, do you think it's Calico Jack's ship? That's got to be a carving of your grandfather. He even looks like you. Let's go inside. Yeah! Hold on, Quasi. Huh? This may have been a pirate ship once, but now she's home to hundreds of plants and animals. So, Octonauts, be extra careful. We don't want to disturb anything. Aye, aye, Captain. Have you got that, Quasi? Quasi! I wonder where that spyglass might be. Chow! Spiky sea urchins! <sighs> Huh? A little seaweed isn't going to keep me from that spyglass. but before I could grab it, I got slimed! Who goes there? We may not be able to see, but we can still smell you and hear you, Dag Nabbit. Uh-oh. It looks like this is slime eel territory. Get off our property or I'll slime you again. Sorry, Quasi. We've got to go. Why? But what about the spyglass? Just leave it, Quasi. Choo! No! It was me grandfather's and it should be mine! But Quasi... Three! Okay, boys, let him have it. Give me two seconds, and I promise I'll be. And 
and then we ran in and Quasi was covered all over with this disgusting slime. Fascinating. A single slime eel can produce a bucket of slime in no time at all. Tell me about it. That's the slime eel's way of protecting itself and its home, especially since it can't see. There certainly were a lot of slime eels protecting that spyglass. Not to mention spiky sea urchins and tangly seaweed. Sorry, Quasi. It's probably too dangerous to go back. What would a slime eel want with a spyglass anyway? <sighs> I'm going to bed. Calico Jack. Spyglass. It's mine. 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 The spyglass is mine! <sighs> Quasi. This time, I'm not leaving without that spyglass. Um. and more, eh? Quasi! Yeah, I finally had me grandfather's spyglass, till this wooden beam fell down and trapped me. I can't move it without bringing the whole ship down. Didn't we warn you to clear out of here and never come back? Ah, you caught me, slime eel. I suppose you're gonna slime me again. Well, go ahead. That's it. You're right. Ahem. <clears throat> Go ahead. Slime him. I dare you. What? But... My pleasure. You call that sliming someone? <laughs> you missed him. Yeah, well, I can't see, remember? Captain, what are you... The slime will make Quasi's tail slippery and we can pull him loose. Try a little lower next time. Peso, what are you saying? We... Just a little lower. You asked for it. Great work, Slime Eel. Let's pull. I'm free. Thanks, matey. And thanks, Slime Eel. At last, me grandfather's spyglass. And it's all mine. There's all kinds of plants and animals in there. Looks like this spyglass has become home to many different creatures, Quasi. <sighs> I. Back for more, eh? Wait, just a minute. This spyglass has always been passed down in my family. But now, I'm passing it on to you and these little creatures. Oh, that's mighty kind of you, I'm sure. Take good care of it. Yeah, we will. And, um, <laughs> sorry about the slime. Now, go on, get out of here. And after all this time, I finally had the spyglass in my own paws. But when I saw those creatures, I had to put it back. Meow. Quasi, you did the right thing. And you can tell everyone you were the one to discover Calico Jack's shipwreck. Besides, it's not like you didn't get any souvenirs at all. Huh? Here. Wrench! <laughs> 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 Screwdriver! <laughs> Carrot! <laughs> Thanks, Vicky! 
Digimals. Is the gup -A ready to go, Tweak? It sure is, Cap. Sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, today our mission is to travel to the bottom of the sea and add a new page to Shellington's book. This is an unfinished guide to the Midnight Zone. The Midnight Zone? It sounds dark and scary. It is, me hearty. The Midnight Zone is a place so deep that the sun never shines there. In this book, I describe many amazing creatures from the Midnight Zone. A limpet, a tube worm, a vent fish. At the end, however, there are these empty pages. It's our job to fill these empty pages with a creature no one's ever seen before. And since it's so dark down there, I added these extra lights to the Gup A to help you see. When the lights on the Gup flash, you're running out of power and you need to come back up right away. Shellington, Peso and Quasi, put on your deep sea suits. Ready? Ready, Ready Captain. Captain. Open the Octo Hatch, Tweak. Right away, Captain. It's not dark yet. That's because we're still up in the sunlight zone. Are we there yet? It's rather dark. No, we're now entering the twilight zone. And the midnight zone is even deeper and darker. Even deeper and darker. Octonauts, we have entered the Midnight Zone. It's really dark down here. Let's turn on the special deep sea lights. It's awfully quiet down here. Captain, what's that sound? That's just our propeller, Peso. It always makes that sound. What about that? There's something very hot up ahead. Shiver me whiskers. Is that smoke? <gasps> Whoa! <gasps> Jumping jellyfish. We found some hydrothermal vents. What's a hydrothermal vent? It's like an underwater volcano. That's very hot water pouring out of the top. Helmets, everybody. This is the perfect place to find a creature that's never been seen before. Octonauts, let's do this. Yow! Ready. Oh, Captain! Have you found something, Shellington? Oh. <laughs> I found a limpet, but that's nothing new. And these are tube worms. They only live in the midnight zone. They're fascinating, but they're not new. Huh? Over here! Yow! It looks big. It's... It's... It's only rocks. Sorry, Shellington. Huh? That's a vent fish. It's not a new creature either, I'm afraid. Let's keep looking, Octonauts. Shellington, what are these holes? Interesting. I found a rock before with holes exactly like this but I've never discovered what made the holes. Let's dig up a rock sample. I'll get the rock cutter. Allow me. Uh, thanks. 
I'll take it from here. Oh no, I broke the rock sample. Oh! No problem, I can get a good look inside it now. Maybe something's living in here. Hmm, I don't see anything. Where's the other piece? Got it. Octonaut, the power on the Gap A is getting low. We should go. But I still haven't found a new creature. We'll have to come back another time, Shellington. Everyone to the Gup. <sighs> so, did you find a creature nobody's ever seen before? Ah, uh, no. I didn't find anything new to put on my empty pages. I wish we'd found something big and scary, like a giant fishopotamus. Well, we did find this interesting rock with holes in it. Uh -huh. mm. wow. Wow. Look at the <gasps> I think there's something alive in here. Broken. No worries, little guy. We can put your house back together faster than you can say bunch of munchy crunchy carrots. Okay, but hurry. I'm freezing. And this light hurts my eyes. You live in the midnight zone where it's always dark and the hydrothermal vents are very hot. The octopod must seem very strange to you. Oh, I want to go home. Tweak will fix your house and then we'll take you home to the Midnight Zone as fast as we can. In the meantime, we'll do our best to make you more comfortable. How's that? Warm enough? Dark enough? Better. For now. Thanks. First, we have to work out how the tunnels connect to each other. Give this a try. Wrong. Okay, let me try again. Oh, wrong. Hold on. Yeah. That ought to do it. <laughs> wrong, wrong, wrong. The holes don't line up. I keep bumping my head. Don't worry. We won't give up until we've worked it out. You know, we've been looking at this problem from the outside. But we need to take a look from the inside. I bet Dashie can help us. With this tiny video camera, we'll be able to see your tunnels from the inside. I call it the worm cam. Ready? Ready! Dead end. The holes are still not lining up. Another dead end. Perfect. Fantastic. I'll use some sticky limpet glue to hold it together. Good as new. I need a picture. Say seaweed. Seaweed. Now we'll take you back home, where it's nice and dark. I can't wait. Octonauts, come down and visit any time. Peso? We have a new friend in the Midnight Zone. It may be dark down here, but it's not scary anymore, Captain. And you have your own page in my book now. Sweet.